So today's directions are that you are going to complete multiplication magic on your own. And as you preview this assignment, you can see that there are two problems on the front. There's a word problem on the front. On the back, there's a word problem for number four. And then there is a word problem for number five. So our directions are going to start with number one and number two. So we have a three digit number by a two digit number. And so of course it's written horizontally. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to set it up vertically. 243 times 15. Now it is not mentioned but it is required that you do an estimate so I want you to go ahead and make your easy estimate over here because that's going to be part of your answer. Okay so that's going to count for two problems. Moving on over to number two we have a two digit number times a two digit number so we're going to set that up 71 times 28 all right and then we're going to make our easy estimate over here to the side remember your easy estimate it counts for points so make sure you do that and you do it well all right so that's one and two go ahead and write estimate up here so you know what that is and then for number three i'm going to read that one out loud an art teacher is planning a field trip for an art exhibit. The price for admission is $12 per student. There are 126 students on the field trip. What is the total cost of the admission for the students? So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and make your window pane. And remember, we're going to use our apes. So we're going to analyze. We're going to plan. We're going to estimate and we're going to solve. And since we've been doing some of this in class, I would expect you to be able to do this on paper now. You can go back and use your notes if you need to. So that's four more problems. So right now we have two, four, plus four more. That gives us a total of eight boxes that I'm going to be grading. Turn over to the back. On the back, we have two classes collected canned tabs for charity. Each student collected 261 in canned tabs. If there were a total of 43 students, how many tabs, canned tabs, were collected? So for this problem, I want you to acknowledge that we're trying to find the number of can tabs that were collected. We're going to go ahead and set up our um, problem here. I'm going to let you set that up. I do want you to make a quick estimate over here to the side. You may have to write kind of tiny. And then it says solve another way. I know that we talked about using the area boxes, the area model on Monday and even last Friday. So what you can do is you can use the area model or maybe you have another way that you want to show that you can find the answer. I just want to see that you can find the answer another way. So uh, whatever you choose here, it should match or resemble what you do on this side. So that's going to give us 9, 10, 11 boxes that I'm grading. And then finally down here for number 5, it says Solomon has some cookies for his meeting. He has a large box with 42 cookies. He has a five five smaller boxes with 12 cookies each. He put all the cookies equally into on two platters. Which expression can be used to show that Solomon put 51 cookies on each platter? 
So we have our information here. I really think boys and girls, when we've been talking about our number talks, this is the kind of problem that we're thinking about. So I want you to go ahead and make your window pane, use your apes, think about what you're doing to estimate and to solve, think about your planning piece and use that to help you find the correct number sentence. Okay, so this is going to be a, a grade and I wish you the best of luck and I expect this to be done in one class period. So make sure you're working hard, make sure that you're working diligently to get your work done on time.